Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I am going to discuss about that things with you, how can use Bootstrap in your React.js project. So you can use that Bootstrap, so that is Bootstrap official website. If you search with the Google, you can also get this type of one of the page as a getbootstrap.com. So if you want to actually customize your layout, so you, then you can use that Bootstrap for adding your CSS, all that class. Okay, so that is some of the building class, you can use it. So that is our Bootstrap. Also, you can use that Bulma. So if you want to install that Bulma, then you have to do, you have to use that npm install Bulma. So it's just like that as a Bootstrap is also providing some of the open source css framework right so with this you can also use some of the bootstrap class so that is actually bulma you can use it and also for the react js they have also another bootstrap as a react bootstrap so the, if you use that react bootstrap then you will also get some of the components so i will also show you how can you install that react bootstrap later so right now i first of all i want to do want to work for our bootstrap so you can use that bootstrap cdn rather than if you want to install that bootstrap then if you search with the google as a bootstrap install command then you will get at this page that means the bootstrap that means the npm js and here um, so here it should be actually providing some of the installation code you can see install with the npm that is the npm install bootstrap you have to actually run this command then automatically it, it should be installed that means the bootstrap will be installed in your system rather than you can also use that yarn okay so you can if you want to use that yarn then you can um, you have to do you have to run this command so right now i want to do i want to um, add some of the cdn then it should be better then it should be very, very easy to you so if you go to that documentation into the documentation area you can see they have some of the cdn command for the css and there is actually the jss so rather than as i told you if you want to install it you can install it rather than if you want to use that cdn then you can use that cdn so here i don't want to install that bootstrap because of all actually i will install our this react bootstrap later okay so right now if you want to just access that bootstrap then i show you how can do that work like i just simply copy that bootstrap cd and css and if you also want to add it then you have to do you have to add it in our this public area into the public that is our index html right so into the index html that is our title so after the title that means that before that head here you have to do you have to add your css okay so that is actually our css cdn link for the bootstrap and also we have to do we have to add that js so they have the three js so i just simply copy i just simply copy three of these now go here that means in our public in our index.html so into the body area so here i just simply paste all the things on here okay friend so that's all you have to do so now if you want to customize it that means if you want to add some of the css for a specific this button that means the bootstrap class now you can actually add it i show you like here right now if you go to our app.js so into the app.js here i added one of the button as the edit button and the delete button so now i want to do i want to add some of the bootstrap class so i just simply added that class and uh, here i just put one of the class as a btn btn sm okay i just name it as a btn btn sm and then btn btn another class as a um, success okay or info whatever you want so right now i just simply added as a btn btn sm btn success now if you click as a save all and now if you refresh it yes you can see it's not perfectly getting our bootstrap okay friend and also if you want to change it there is a class there is another class as a info so i just make that as the info and also for the delect okay for the delect i want to do i want to add another class i just added another class and here i name it as a btn 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 sm and then btn um, I, for the delect i make the things as a danger okay i just make the things as a danger so now if you click as a save all and now if you refresh it yeah you can see it's now perfectly getting our edit button and that is our delete button so now our bootstrap is perfectly installed and now you can actually use all that bootstrap class okay so here if you know a little bit that bootstrap class then i think you can make customize it as per your demand right now like there is actually the one of the ali right so into the ali position if you want to add some of the class into the ali like i just added on the bootstrap class 
there is a class and here I want to use one of the bootstrap class as a list item so I just simply added that list and then the item I just name it as a list item and also here I display our items right that means I display all that our items so better here I want to do and to put some of the evil okay that means here I put some of the evil and also I close that evil and into the evil area I just simply pass our this item I just simply pass it and for the evil I want to do I want to use another class so I just simply added another class and that is another list class so I just want to use that list class okay that is also one of the bootstrap class clear the save all and now if you refresh it yeah you can see it's not perfectly getting our this bootstrap class so friend if you want to use that bootstrap now I think you can well understand about it how can you install that bootstrap that means here I just simply added our uh, CDN version that means the bootstrap CDN version. So if you want to install it, then you can install it with run our this one, right? That is actually the command as the npm install bootstrap. But right now, in I want to do, I want to actually, I don't want to use that this bootstrap here. I want to use they have the another bootstrap for a specific this React. That's a React bootstrap. So how can I install that bootstrap? So if you go to that get started into the get started here, you can see with this you can actually install this React bootstrap in your system. So how can do that work in our next video I will show you that things with a live example for before doing this I want to do I want to actually remove it that means I want to remove all that our script so here I just simply remove it there is a CDN that the bootstrap CDN so I just simply remove everything from here and now if you click as a save all and now if you refresh it now you can see it's not totally gone okay so now in our next video i want to install our this one that means the react js so how can you install it in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video